To find the derivative of x plus 1 over x squared, we'll need to use the chain rule and the power rule. Now, it is an option for us to just expand this square. We could do the multiplication, and then it'd just be a standard application of the power rule. But my first thought would be to just use the chain rule. Pretty simple solution here. So notice, the outside function is a thing being squared. So when we take the derivative, we need to start with that. The outside function is a thing being squared. Now, when you take the derivative of a thing being squared, that power of 2 comes down as a factor. And what's inside needs to be left alone. This is the f prime of g in the chain rule formula. Now, the power of 2 gets reduced by 1, so we'll just not write that power. This is the derivative of the outside function. Now we need to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The outside function was a thing squared. The inside function is just x plus 1 over x. So now we're multiplying by the derivative of that. And when we do this, remember that 1 over x is the same as x to the negative 1. So all we're doing here is using the power rule. So what's the derivative of x plus 1 over x? Well, the derivative of x is just 1. The derivative of x to the negative 1 by the power rule is negative x to the negative 2 because we bring the negative 1 exponent down as a factor, that's why we have a negative there, and then reduce the exponent of negative 1 by 1. So now we have a power of negative 2. And that's the derivative of x plus 1 over x squared. Or if you prefer the fraction to the negative exponent, you could write it like that. All you have to do is use the chain rule and use the power rule. Hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and check out my Calculus 1 exercises playlist for more.